And just when you thought Disney couldn't get any worse, they come out with Praise PD. A cartoon about a girl who inherits a ritualistic killing blood drinking cult from her father. The show can be found on Hulu, so if you haven't canceled them yet, now might be a good time to do that. Here's why. And I'm still here despite the fact that last night I witnessed someone get ritualistically murdered by my dad's cult that I just inherited. <laughs> oh, here we go. What the f The spawn of a cult leader struggling to take over. Sounds like the true life story of Alexander Soros. Pure evil hiding in plain sight. But then again, what else is new from the demonic Democrats? Joining us now to weigh in, news commentator, podcaster, and host of Weber's Way.com, Jess Weber. Jess, thanks for being with us. It's great to see you. Yeah, thank you, Allison. Uh, man, it's, Satan's running out of time, Allison, I would yeah, think. I think uh, so. He's, I think they're, they, they know they're running out of time. They're telling the, their little people the, to draw some cartoons to show uh, what's really going on in this world because uh, we're hearing a lot of these kind of conspiracies, you know? I mean, just recently, Ryan Garcia said some crazy, had some crazy video on the internet talking about some Illuminati stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, they're out and open. The devil's ready to go. He is. He can't wait. He's a little mad that Trump or slowing him down for four years, but now uh, he's in full effect because they got their their whole oil system rigging uh, for even for the next election. So we'll see. I mean, it's Satan. It's. I mean, come on. It's yeah. out and open. Like, yeah, no, it's it's so so blatantly obvious what they're doing. Yeah. They, these these literal demons just don't give up, and it's just so out in the open, right in our faces, and that's just how they want it. So I guess it's it's not surprising, uh, though it it does make me really sad. It's so unsettling to know that that is a, a real show on television. Uh, hey, Jess, hey. while we are talking about this satanic agenda, the detestable Dylan Mulvaney is now apparently doing stand up. I'd like to show you guys a clip of that. Let's take a look. I would, be, I would feel like I was a part of something bigger than this. <laughs> that was a double entendre. Look at me doing stand up. This, the conservative men are just pissed that I can beat them in beer pong. <laughs> and the conservative women are pissed that their kids are calling me mother in all of my Instagram accounts. <laughs> Wow, I uh, don't think I've ever seen anything less funny. Um, oh, but what I think it. Dylan fails to understand is that he is the joke. No need to to make the jokes. I mean, he is the joke, right? <laughs> he is the joke. I mean, it's a joke. I mean, he's pretending to be a woman. I thought that was funny. That's why I was laughing. I mean, <laughs> I was, I was hilarious. That little crop top up top. Unbelievable. I thought that was uh, hilarious and with that little wig that he's wearing. Uh, it's funny. He Listen, he could really do a huge – he could do some – he could probably make some good money. <laughs> uh, doing some stand up, you know, just show up, you're like, look at me, and everyone's just gonna laugh at you, not with you. So, exactly. I think he's a great uh, comedian, uh, he's gonna be up and coming. I, I he's, believe. he's got a great uh, com comedic career ahead of him, it'll be uh, interesting uh, to see what great happens. Costume. Yes, love the costume, yes, yep. yes, he great costume, great, great work. Great work, Dylan. Uh, continuing on, just with the downfall of society, can we take a look at what we have officially devolved to? Uh, here we have the soon-to-be average person just strolling down the street. At, you know, it's I, I feel like we're going to start seeing this at the mall, uh, at the uh, grocery store. Um, Jess, at the rate we're going, I'm starting yeah. to think uh, the movie Idiocracy was less of a comedy and more predictive programming. Uh, uh, we have this graphic of Wally -E here, too. Though. It's sim similar vibe. What do you think? Well, this is where we're going. I mean, this is a, I mean, uh, obviously movies are, uh, you know, predictions in, in the future. I mean, this is, uh, Wally was a great example. I mean, you got player one, you know, these, these things that are coming out on your eyes that they're going to make you brain dead. Um, people want this. This is, you know, this, they can't stand reality. They can't stand working. This is why COVID came out. You know, they just, they want these people to be lazy. <laughs> they want them to just lay in their chair, gain a humongous belly and just lay there and play video games. Uh, you know, have a thing strapped through their head. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed. 